A home video cassette of The Lost Squadron is available for $24.95. To order, call 1-800-662-AETN. This is History's Best on PBS. To be or not to be, there's no question about it. Another great drama coming up next on Mobile Masterpiece Theater on PBS. Next time on Nova, as the African daylight fades, a silent hunter stalks. With Nova special cameras, get closer than you've ever been. Witness behavior never before seen. Enter the hidden world of leopards of the night. Tomorrow on PBS. What makes a great journey? Is it the land you choose to see? Or the company you choose to keep? The world's a big place. You wouldn't want to see it with just anyone. That's why PBS roams the globe with travelers who share your passion for wandering. Great guides, great routes, and a greater appreciation. If PBS doesn't do it, who will? Man, I bet nobody's ever got to do it this before. Well, it should work. Let's not wait. Make sure we have enough pulleys. Okay. What are you kids doing? Science fair project. Want help? Sure. Uh, yeah, I, I got some tools. Come on, guys. Six more inches. What are you doing? Landscaping or something? Sort of. Honey, is this right to figure eight? Six times the figure eight. Here we go. Take it north. Let's go. Let's go, pretty kid. Keep up. So, that's how they did it. Yep. How are we going to get this to school? You've got the best seat in the house. Great performances on PBS. These mothers are on red eye alert because their kids are a handful. A hyperactive daredevil, the too small to survive twins, and a blue-eyed albino ringtail named Sapphire who keeps getting lost. Leap and lemurs, what's a mother to do? Next time on Nature, it's a lemur's tail, but don't be fooled. We've got more than one lemur and many a tail to track. So follow these tales to Madagascar and get back to nature. Sunday on PBS. To be or not to be, there's no question about it. Another great drama coming up next on Mobile Masterpiece Theater on PBS. Tonight, on Mobile Masterpiece Theater. It amazes me how you could choose such a rickety old place to live in, Mrs. Graham. Do you not get lonely up here all by yourself? A woman with a secret. Why won't these people leave me alone? Her girlhood dream of perfect love. You could not have found a man with a worse reputation. He behaved as a perfect gentleman to me. Became a nightmare of degradation. Do you know what love is? Love that tears your soul apart. You think love brings happiness into dismount. Shall judge them after the manner of adulteresses. Shall stone them with stones and dispatch them with their swords. <laughs> Anne Bronte's classic tale of virtue and vice. <laughs> Sarah Fitzgerald in The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. Tonight on Mobile Masterpiece Theater.
Welcome to Mobile Masterpiece Theatre. For nearly 30 years, we've been proud to provide the energy that helps public television run. We begin with a mystery. A beautiful woman and a small boy appear suddenly, without explanation, in one of those rustic communities where everybody knows everybody else. They move into a dilapidated old mansion called Wildfell Hall. It's been empty for years. The neighbors try to draw them into local society, but the new tenant of Wildfell Hall resists. She remains aloof, private, chilly. This, of course, makes people suspicious. What does she have to hide? It may have something to do with the boy. She's neurotically attached to him. Is he her son? If so, where's his father? In a small community like this, the possibility of scandal adds delicious spice to the mystery. Our story takes place during the 1820s in a farming community in Yorkshire. The author was Anne Bronte, one of three remarkable sisters, the other two being Charlotte and Emily, who wrote novels that are still known to millions today. When Anne's Tenant of Wildfell Hall appeared in 1848, one distinguished critic said it was too coarse and shocking even for masculine readers. Nowadays, we don't shock so easily. <laughs> 